Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos, man. And with the 22nd overall pick in the NFL draft, the Ravens select Zay Flowers, wide receiver from Boston College. Listen, man, this is a great pick. Um, this was my, I did a video about, you know, your dream, your realistic scenario, your hate scenario. This was the dream scenario for me for the Ravens to pick Zay Flowers right here. Um, add another explosive option to the passing game. I don't know what's happening with DeAndre Hopkins. Something might happen tonight. Something might not. It doesn't like something's going to happen as far as the Ravens go. But Zay Flowers is a big time weapon. And um, if there was one wide receiver besides, you know, Jack Smith and Jake who went a couple picks earlier that I really wanted on the Ravens, it was Zay Flowers. So I couldn't be happier with the pick. Um, so what he provides for the team is obviously that inside outside versatility. Um, separator, good route runner. Like he's going to get loose in man coverage. So. Uh, teams gonna have to decide what they want to do, man. You got Bateman, you got you got Odell, you got Zay, you got Mark Andrews, J.K. Dobbins in the backfield. Obviously, Lamar came back. You know what I'm saying? So this is a great, great day for the Ravens, bro. Um, this offense got just ten times more explosive. Like Zay Flowers is the kind of guy who takes five, make it fifty. You know what I mean? He he could take a slant to the crib, kind of like how we saw Bateman do first the Dolphins last season. So. The Ravens are adding explosive playmakers to this offense, and I love it. I couldn't be more of a fan of it. Um, obviously, you know, the Ravens still got a hold up cornerback. They do, and there's no, no doubt in that. But I felt like it was important to add a guy like Zay Flowers just because, listen, man, I love Odell. I love Bateman. But these both of these guys have, are coming off injuries, right? So it, what's the likelihood of Odell and Bateman both playing 17 games next year? We don't know, right? Also, Odell might just be here for one year. So if Odell say say Odell's not here next year, now the Ravens are back in the same hole that they were they were in previously with just Rashad Bateman, and then you know you're trying to piece together the rest of the core. At least now, if Odell is not here next year, you still got Bateman, you still got Zay Flowers, so you still got weapons here. So um, it made mo it made sense for now. It made sense for the future. Uh, I love the pick. Um, the Ravens really show how their draft board stacked up and where their um, where their opinions lie because. They had their choice of the board here. You know what I'm saying? So Deontay Banks is available at this time. Uh, Joey Porter Jr. was available at this time. Nolan Smith, Miles Murphy. So the Ravens had a choice of a, a plethora of guys, Jordan Addison, that, that they really could have went out uh, after and targeted. And they came home with Zay Flowers. They said this was the guy that they want. So uh, this is big time news, man. Um, I know Lamar Jackson's happy about it. I saw him tweet about it. So this is good news for the Ravens. This is good news for Todd Monkey. Keep adding weapons into the room. Uh, this is a good thing, right? The Ravens have really never been in a position where they've had, quote-unquote, too many wide receivers. So if that starts to become the issue, then it's, a, it's an issue that I am glad to have because we've never had that issue before. Um, it's eight flowers. I'm not worried about his height. I know people bring up his height. 5'9", five, five, uh, 180 pounds. He plays bigger than that. He, he goes over top of guys. I'm watching the coverage on NFL Network. They made a great comparison for him. They said he plays a lot like Steve Smith Sr. And we saw what Steve Smith did, obviously, in Carolina. But obviously, we saw what Steve Smith did as a as an older version here in Baltimore. So uh, I'm not worried about Zay Flowers' size. I'm worried about his playmaking ability. He got that in abundance. The Ravens' offense just got better. Like, seriously. Uh, as far as offense goes, they figure out what's going on at left guard. Maybe it's been Cleveland. Maybe it's somebody else. We'll see. But they figured that out. This team is ready to roll on offense. Like, I mean, I didn't even mention earlier Isaiah Likely, who I, I still have a lot of high hopes for. So um, if the Ravens have an issue of, you know, who's going to get the ball, there's too many miles to feed, that's great. No fans should be um, dreading that kind of issue, all right? That's going to make the guys be hungry and want the ball. So I'm happy about it. Uh, obviously, the Ravens still got some things to do as far as getting a cornerback and things like that. But, uh, drafting Zay Flowers for me, A plus draft grade. I'm um, 100 on board with it. Uh, I'm happy that he was there at 22 because it seemed like you know um, the, the the draft board was falling great for the Ravens. So like I said earlier, they had a lot of they pretty much had they pick a little who they wanted to go to, and it came out with Zay Flowers, man. So that's beautiful, great pick. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. I ain't gonna hold you too long on these draft videos. Every time the Ravens pick. I probably won't, I won't talk too long about it. But um, Zay Flowers, Baltimore Raven. Ravens added an explosive playmaker to that wide receiver core. And Eric DaCosta said, John Harbaugh said, 
we want to revamp this wide receiver room, and they've done it, okay? You got Bateman, you got Odell, you got Zay Flowers. You added in, now, now that's an add a little Devin Duvernay's wide receiver four and five. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They went in with a goal this offseason and they accomplished it. Couldn't be happier about it. So, um, Zay Flowers, can't wait to see you in that Ravens jersey, man. Ravens Blog is rooting for you, man. But anyway, it's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.